Hello everyone, welcome again to UK and an unboxing and setup video for the Thrustmaster Formula One wheel add-on. First off, a massive thank you to all YouTube members, Twitch subscribers and anyone that donates to the channel because this sort of thing is where your money goes uh, to help build the channel, new games, new hardware, so a massive thank you. So I've been playing a lot of Formula One 2019 recently. I've been using the TGT, uh, which is the Gran Turismo wheel, which I absolutely love. And there is a separate video coming on that. Um, I've had it for a year now, so I want to do a separate review on that, on how I've enjoyed it, how it's uh, held up over a year. But I want to start playing a lot of Formula One. And this caught my eye. Um, it's the add-on wheel, so it is a replica of the Formula One 2011 Ferrari car. So out of the box, it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, it's a full metal construction with rubber grips. Now these grips are a little bit sticky out of the box, and I'm wondering how that's gonna, um, I'll tell you what they feel like. They actually feel like when you go to an arcade um, and you put your hand on the steering wheel and it feels a little bit sticky, like a hundred kids have um, had their hands on it before with ice creams, etc. but it may be the wheel that gets me using gloves. It's a metal construction and all the buttons on there remind me of the Warthog. They're all very, very similar, although these clicky buttons down the bottom there, they're not as thick as the ones on the Warthog, um, but they all work. It's got 19 assignable buttons. Um, it is a very, very nice construction. It looks the part, that's the main thing. But the closer you look, you do realize that some of this is just for show. Um, a lot of this stuff there is just stickers and the stickers feel okay. I don't know how, how their longevity is gonna last sticker wise. Um, this one down here, already feels like you could pick it off, but it is 139 pounds, so it's not the most expensive add-on. You start look at, looking at the Fnatic um, Formula One wheel add-ons, it can get quite expensive. The actual construction itself feels really, really heavy. Um, the paddle on the back is quite interesting. If you look at the one on the TGT, the um, actual flappy paddles move independently. This one seems to be one long bar. Um, now, I don't know whether that's a Formula One design. I don't don't know whether that's a cost cutting design. I should think it would help with two handed um, gear changing. If you're doing something with your left hand or your right hand, you could push it forward and pull it back at the same time. So that's quite interesting. I'll be interested to know if that is a Formula One design. So what we're gonna do now is go over to the rig, take the TGT lever bound steering wheel off, put this one on and just see what it feels like. So let's get over and do that now. So it's fairly easy to take the steering wheel off. You just loosen the screw, um, turn the main bolt, and literally the, um, the steering wheel just pops off. And to replace it, you just reverse the process. So here we are in Catalonia, Spain, just trying out Formula One 2019 with the new wheel. Uh, and I've been playing for about an hour now, and I must say it is very, very cool. Uh, it matches the game perfectly, obviously. It builds those immersion levels. I'm a big fan of anything that you can do to um, get yourself immersed in the game just a little bit more. And a steering wheel is something so tactile, isn't it? That if we can have something that looks very similar to um, what is being um, displayed on the screen by the driver, you know, I look down, I just glance down, and at a glance, my steering wheel looks almost identical to this one. Obviously, it's not exactly the same, because um, this is a newer Ferrari. But yeah, it's very, very cool. I've been playing for about an hour now, and uh, I wouldn't say it's going to make me a better driver, but I think it's going to improve the fun levels of playing this particular game. Um, and it, it's weird, actually. I suppose psychologically, it's this is psychological, but... It really does feel like I've got, I've got an entirely new wheel. The wheel feels different. Now, I don't know whether that's because, obviously, I'm used to a, a circular version of the wheel. And I've never really played... Oh, I've never really played with um, a Formula One rim before. It feels fantastic. It feels like I've got a brand spanking new wheel. Uh, let's just pull over for a second. Um, one thing you do need to take note in your mind is that you are going to have to work out what the control scheme does. So I'll put them on, I'm putting on the screen now what's on the Thrustmaster website when I went there for bindings and all that is basically telling me is like you know that's the circle button that's the X button it's just giving me what it corresponds to on the controller doesn't really help with what's in game so for example um, we've got the DRS which is actually the circle button so if you look bottom right of the screen we can press that and get the menu up you've got these two radial dials which re are really helpful actually this one on the right hand side goes up and down and this one on the left hand side 
does the um, uh, the different uh, reading. So changing that on the fly is going to be very very easy once you set up your bindings. Now, if you're a PC player, that becomes second nature. You get something and you set it up exactly how you like it. But one of the features of uh, console gaming is just plug and play. This steering wheel isn't necessarily going to be instantly plug and play. You are going to have to work out because I don't think that DRS button should be the menu button i don't think that that's right at all but that's what it is in game so there is going to be a little bit of setting up in this video i just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like so i'll put it on the screen with a green screen behind it um, and give you my thoughts on what it feels like i will do a separate video of all the bindings once i've got them set up um, but like i said i've been playing for about an hour or so and uh, i think it's i think it's going to make me better at the game because i'm enjoying it more and I can be more precise with with my lines and not not that I am at the moment you have to forgive me I've actually found that Formula One racing is very different to GT racing and uh, I do need a little bit of practice and not only that you need to know how each individual game um, the physics are and only just getting Formula One in the last week or so I haven't spent a huge amount of time with it um, but very very enjoyable so far and I think that can only be improved with this steering wheel so we've got our expensive wheel that we've just paid for and we don't always want to play Formula One 2019. We've got other games. So how does it fare up with, uh, with using other games? Well, it could it could pass as an LMP1 wheel, it could. Now I know it is uh, it's Ferrari branded, we're driving a Porsche, it's not exactly the same as what's on screen. But I think if I was setting up a you know, three or four hour endurance race, um, would I use the... Um, this steering wheel I think I might you know it feels it feels immersive I like the feeling of it you'll have to let me know in the comment section below would you use this um, would you would you use it as an LMP1 wheel you know can we get away with it like I say we brought it we want to use it so is there anything wrong with using it for this particular car I don't think so personally it looks very similar to what's on the screen what the driver's using um, so for immersion levels we can glance down at our wheel and it can look very very similar but I think on a personal note you know I do like to use the products that I buy and I think I would actually use this um, as an LMP1 wheel so we're back at Spain we're back in a Formula 1 car uh, well a super Formula car and we're back on Gran Turismo so we can show that it's not it's not just only to be used in Formula 1 2019 if you've got a few racing games you can make use of this steering wheel um, and I love the Super Formulas in Gran Turismo and I know this wheel doesn't exactly go with what we're driving but it's a video game so it goes just enough for me to believe it and to heighten my um, immersion levels that's the main thing we're after the um, steering wheel on the screen looks similar enough for me to um, just feel that I'm driving the car instead of um, and I'm probably gonna notice it now as well aren't I if I drive this car on my standard circular steering wheel I'm probably really gonna notice the fact that the driver has got a Formula One style steering wheel and I've got a circular one uh, so I'll have to keep an eye on that uh, one thing I do like actually I'll just pull over just to show you I do like the way that the um, paddle is only up the top part so you put your two bottom fingers on the actual steering wheel and the top two fingers just on the paddle the paddle isn't you know really wide so you've got your whole hand on it it's just a two finger job um, up the top of the steering wheel and it's nice and comfortable actually you can see there that, that's how I'm basically holding it so depending on your style you might be um, just touching it with your top finger there that's that's pretty much how I'm uh, driving it but I think it's really cool um, the only thing I don't like about it I think now I've been using it for a couple of hours is the rubber grip my hands feel a bit grubby um, after using it and, it and my hands are clean and this steering wheel is brand new so there's absolutely no reason um, for my hands to feel grubby but like I say the nearest I can give you in terms of uh, comparisons is the ones at the um, at the arcades that are built for absolute durability which I think this will I think you'd have trouble making this wear out and I can see what they're getting at I know the material that they're trying to replicate it's just that I wish they'd chosen something else um, it feels like a rubber rubber covering. It's not. It's just part of the moulding. Um, it's fine. It's not going to put me off the wheel. But if um, if I had to choose something I didn't like about it, that would be it. Because my hands literally feel like I need to wash them, um, even though the hands are clean and this steering wheel is brand new. 
overall, I'm really happy that I've brought it. Um, couple of issues. The first issue, as you can probably tell, is the grip system. I don't like the rubber grip. Um, I'll probably get used to it or I will start wearing gloves. Secondly, overall, the build quality for the money is really, really good. I would have liked to have seen the inclusion of some kind of rev, rev lighter um, across the top to know when you're red lighting and what particular rev range you're in. I think it would add immersion to the wheel. It'd be a nice little bit of detail. Um, and I just think that it should have been added for the particular price point. But I really like the wheel and I can't wait to get stuck into more F1. So that is it everyone. Don't forget to subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Leave me a comment in the section below letting me know what you think. Top right of your screen will be a playlist of all my other hardware reviews. But that is it everyone. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one.